Okay, so before we start this video off, I just want to give a quick little shout out to a brand called Chain Nutrition. They are the sponsor of today's video and they sell a pretty good supplement. It's called Ripped. It basically makes you ripped. Yeah, it binds to your, to your fat molecules so that you can lose fat a lot faster and you don't really have to be in a calorie deficit or eat a ton less food. It just works amazing. Uh, it's on discount as well, so only cost 80 bucks for this one tub. So go and try it out. <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with you. Let's let's start the video. <laughs> So I just found this supplement laying around in the house and I'm definitely not going to be using it. So yeah, bye bye. But what you saw at the beginning of this video was me making my habitual breakfast. Some beans, some eggs, some bread, basic ass meal. Doesn't take long at all to prepare and make. So yeah, that's what I eat pretty much. Yeah, every single day for breakfast. Highly recommend it. Now let's make the pre-workout meal. Does it look like I don't enjoy this shit? Because I, I do, I do, okay? Oatmeal, it's freaking delicious as long as you know how to make it properly. And I'm eating a bit bigger bowl than usual because I'm going to try to hit a PR on low incline dumbbell bench today. I'm going to try to do 36 kilos for six reps and four sets. I've done that in the past about a year ago, but yeah, after the gym shut down for multiple months due to Corona, I got weaker. My progress has been amazing so far on my new program. I'm seeing amazing results, not stalling. I can start to train my legs again as well because my injury is starting to heal, my hamstring injury. So training is just going great at the moment. And I'm just so fucking excited to get strong again, especially when it comes to my legs because I look like that typical bro who only trains upper body. And I hate that I look like that because that's not what I want at all. I love squats, but it looks like I've never fucking squatted in my life. So I was going to say that because we're trying to hit a PR today, I'm going to take some pre-workout, but let's keep it honest, I would have taken some pre-workout anyways. Gonna take a big fat scoop of pre. And here's a quick pro tip if you're someone who loves to get a good pump in the gym. Bye. Citrulline malate. Citrulline malate is a pretty well-known and science-based supplement and it's often in pre-workouts but most pre-workouts such as this one is pretty underdosed when it comes to most ingredients so that's why I have citrulline malate on the side. It basically just allows for better blood flow and gives you a better pump science-based as well so would recommend. Cheers. Tastes pretty shit but in a good way. <laughs> so before I go train, I want to talk about something pretty quickly. It might seem a bit random, but it's reading. Currently reading The Power of Now. Uh, I'm not going to talk about that book though, but just want to talk about reading in itself. Because a year ago, if you would have asked me then when I was in high school, I would just probably like look down on people who read. I, I would either say like, yeah, it's boring as fuck, you're a nerd. Or I would say, uh, why not just listen to a podcast? You can do that whilst doing something else, so it's a bit more productive. And in some aspects, I definitely agree with that last statement, but it's just easier to concentrate and focus. And when you're reading, you're not only reading, you're also using your ears because you're talking to yourself in your mind, if that makes any sense. Now I'm reading a book a month, going to keep that up, going to do that throughout 2020 2021 i mean as well i read about a lot of different stuff it can be training nutrition science philosophy highly recommend for more people to read it's great you can obtain a lot of knowledge through books you don't have to do it a lot just like 15 20 minutes every single day and yeah you'll skim through books that way if you keep it up consistently but yeah now we're going to go to the gym 
going to, yeah, hopefully I'll hit that PR I was talking about. And if not, roast me in the comments, please. Hopefully I do it. So let's go. So this is the last warm up set before I attempt the 36 kilogram PR. And as you can see, I'm already hyped as fuck, so I better get this. And by the way, I don't count the first rep, if you can even call it that, just because I use my legs and I use momentum to get it up, so that rep doesn't count. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, we got it. And as you can see, it wasn't that hard, even though it felt pretty heavy. I still managed to do it with probably two reps in the tank, I would assume if I would have gone all the way to failure. And here I just took the hoodie off for aesthetic purposes for the YouTube video, but I usually like to train in a hoodie, I just like to keep myself warm when training. Generally it's better for the muscles and for the joints to a certain extent. But yeah, my progress when it comes to the bench and the other lift is going amazing. I use multiple forms of periodization on my current personalized program. I use linear periodization, I use daily undulating periodization. Those are the main ones and yeah, just seeing great progress. And the next week is going to be a deload week. So I'm not looking forward to that, that shit, but it's definitely going to keep me bigger and stronger and injury free. And here you're seeing me do the lat pull downs pretty basic everyone does it but yeah just make sure that you have full range of motion and stretch your lats on the top and then for the last chest exercise we're doing the pec deck really enjoy this exercise i prefer it a bit over cable fly simply because of this strength profile of the pecs matches this machine a bit better compared to cable flies if you don't know what that means that basically just means that you get more tension through the full range of motion on that exercise compared to cable flies, but both are great. Those are just some minor differences. Heading over to the last back exercise. This is my favorite exercise to do for the lats when it comes to a rowing movement. You train unilaterally, you get a better contraction and a better stretch on your lats when you train one side at a time, simply because you can rotate your torso. And then we're moving over to the triceps, seated dumbbell overhead extension. This exercise focuses on the long head of the triceps. And yeah, it's just great if you want to build some mass on your arms. Now we're moving over to the last exercise, seated inclined dumbbell curl. One, uh, yeah, it's definitely my favorite for the biceps. It's the one that has built the most mass for me. I love it, has a lot of benefits. I've talked about it a lot though, so I won't go further in depth about it in this video. But yeah, if you haven't tried it, try it out. And I also train my rear delts, but I didn't film that just because it's boring as shit to watch. <laughs> Keeping it real, but yeah, enjoy the rest of this video. So as you can see, we got the chicken tikka masala right now. You can see the calories and macros up on the screen right now. Uh, I was going to say it tastes pretty good, but I haven't even tasted them yet. Ah. Wow, that's hot. Ah. What I want to talk about right now is something that's very near and dear to my heart. And there's no better way of starting off the conversation uh, by talking about this book that I'm currently reading, The Power of Now, which I mentioned earlier in this video. It's written by Eckhart Tolle. It says on the front page, it's a guide to spiritual enlightenment. And if you know me, I'm a pretty science-based guy. So this book... I'm not gonna lie, there's some chapters and some things in this book that I still don't completely agree with. But even though there is a few things that's pretty taboo in this book, there's also a lot more that I actually agree with. Uh, where do I even start? Well, the sad part is that most people of today's society, they aren't even happy. You are probably not happy. Most people are dealing with some sort of depression or an how the fuck do I say that word? Anxiety? Yeah, <laughs> anxiety. And uh, this book pretty much helps you battle that. This isn't going to be a book review. I'm going to keep this pretty quick. Uh, but yeah, The Power of Now, it's basically about living in the now and being present. Most people, if not all of us in the beginning, are not present. We're always thinking about the future. We're either worrying about shit that's going to happen in the future or we are regretting or judging or getting frustrated from things that has already happened in the past. So I would recommend to read this book, but that's not what I'm going to talk about now. What I'm going to talk about is just like general happiness because 
a lot of people are depressed in today's society and it's because most people associate being wealthy with being happy and that's definitely not the case. I heard it somewhere, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that celebrities, they have a higher suicide rate than just normal people. And why is that? Well, it's because when your income or your wealth goes up, necessarily your happiness doesn't go up. The only time that happiness goes up with money is if you are living in extreme poverty so you don't afford the basic shit such as a roof over your house, food and all those basic ass stuff. If you don't have that, yes money can definitely help in terms of your happiness but if you have all that basic stuff it's not going to help you. Hi Mur Mur. Fuck, that threw me off, man. I completely forgot where I was at in this talk, but all I'm trying to say... What the fuck am I trying to say? Fuck! So what I'm trying to say is that if you get a job, if you make all your money, we both know that a happiness doesn't come from money. It's a very basic quote and statement. Everyone knows it, but no one fully lives it. So let's say you've been busting your ass off for 40 years in a job. You found it pretty gruesome you maybe made a shit ton of money and that's great and when you're left with it you're going to be unhappy and you're not going to understand the reason why because the school system has taught us that or it hasn't taught us but it's basically implied that working our way upwards in a system or in a job or whatever that's uh, what's going to make us happy and make us feel feel full fulfillment full Ah, that is going to make us fulfilled in life. This might trigger some people, but I don't give a fuck. It's not your genetics that keep you depressed or your genetics. Yeah, people love to blame genetics and their circumstances for everything, but it's not about your genetics nor these circumstances. It's about what your mind think of these circumstances. It's all about your perception of it. That's why there's a lot of people that seem to have a shitty life let's say for example a homeless person seems like he has a shitty life but he's still happier than you someone who has fucking all the things he could ever dreamt of when it comes to materialistic items let's say you're a fucking billionaire if you have grinded your life you've had a shit life quality just because you've been grinding to get this money you've not been holy fuck you've not been Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. You've not been living in the present, you've just been focusing on the future and never truly lived in the now. You're, you've always been stressed or worried about things, uh, worried about deadlines, etc. You're not going to have a great quality life. I just want to fucking get more people to realize that it's not about the fucking money, okay? Why the fuck do you care so much about money? It's not going to make you happy. There's literally fucking studies that have shown this, okay? You know I'm the science guy. I fuck with that shit. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still a noob to all of this shit. So I just want to learn more. I'm so fucking interested in learning more. And this is, this is probably not a typical video from me. I'm probably not going to post this a lot. But I felt like getting it out. And I also genuinely think that it's going to help a few people out. At least just to make you aware. So instead of working your ass off from now until you're 50 or 60 and going to retire, you had a shitty life quality and you have this money and you're still anxious, you're still depressed and you thought that all the money would sort it out, but it didn't. So you're fucked. Or if you are young, I would strongly recommend just to read up, just educate yourself. Every fucking thought you have in your mind, you can change that over time, you can change the way you think. And it's hard because it's something that you've done habitually for pretty much your entire life, ever since uh, childhood or even since you were born, I don't fucking know, but you can change and you should change. And if you generally disagree with what I'm saying, nah, I'm just kidding, uh, li literally just write it in the comment section below and I'm open to discuss this shit, I think it's pretty interesting, I don't think I have it all figured out as well, so open to perspectives and yeah, just feedback. But before I forget what I was going to say was that instead of retiring, making all your money, having a stressful, anxious life, your life quality has been shit even though you have a lot of money, rather learn this shit when you're young yeah you might be one or two years behind your friend's uh, income but that does not mean a single fuck why do you care it doesn't make you happy why do you care
people literally measure their life success in terms of money. And that's so crazy to me. That's mind blowing. Luckily, I've never been one to be totally obsessed with money. But I've most people my age are, to be honest. And yeah, I just think it's crazy. I understand it though, because that's what we've been taught to do for our entire life ever since we started school. So totally makes sense. But if you disagree with me, if you think what I'm saying is cheesy, that's completely fine. I won't get frustrated or mad by your thought because I can't control that. Simple as that. If you're going to take one thing from this video, just let it be that, yeah, you can't always change the outer stuff that's happening the what's it called the external stuff but you can you can always change the internal and it might not be easy might not happen overnight but it's fucking achievable so try to do it stop trying to chase money it's it's a hobby yeah for sure do it but first learn how to be happy how to truly live in the moment and you'll have a way better life quality and you only have one life or if you believe something else, I'll let you have that opinion. <laughs> if you want to let me know what you think about what I said in the comments below, positive or negative, feel free to do so. And if you liked the video, I would greatly appreciate it if you could like the video. But if you didn't like it, and I'm serious when I say this, if you didn't like it, dislike it so that I know that people don't like it. <laughs> Simple as that. Uh, that's what the like and dislike button are for. And I don't care if it's going to push my videos a bit further if only I get likes. But I generally want to get feedback because I want to improve. Um, that's pretty much been this entire video. I hope the rest of the day is going to be amazing for you And I appreciate you a lot for watching until the end and yeah, if you have any feedback leave it in the comment section below. My name is Max Bokin Peace